Hi guys, it's Justin Minus Fiction and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a, if you like this book, you might really enjoy this book, fantasy edition. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so I've been seeing a lot of people doing this on BookTube and I wanted to participate. So I picked five books that are both YA and adult fantasy and then five books that go along with them, whether they have a similar plot, similar character, similar setting, etc. So if you're unfamiliar with my channel, I post new videos on Thursday and Sunday and if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I post new bookish content. You can also check out my Instagram. It is linked down in the description below. With that being said, let's get into this list. The first book on this list is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. So this story follows Ignacia, who is a girl living in a village that is surrounded by this very dark, malevolent wood. And to stop the wood from encroaching on the village, the villagers sacrifice a girl every 10 years to the dragon, who is this wizard that's very powerful. So when Ignacia, who's obviously the sacrifice, meets the dragon, she realizes there's more to him than she originally thought, and they develop this relationship. He teaches her about magic, and it really goes from there. I was not a huge fan of this book. I think I talked about it in a few of my videos. However, I did really enjoy the dark wood setting. Now, I recently read a book that I loved and I haven't heard about it very much on booktube and it is just beautiful. And that is For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. And this also has a very dark wood setting, but it's so beautiful and so immersive and it follows two girls. So in this village or in this world, one girl is for the throne and one girl is for the wolf. The second board is for the wolf. So these twin girls, the second board, I think she was born a few minutes later, ends up being sent to the wolf. And in order to get there, she has to go through a dark forest, very similar to Uprooted, and she ends up meeting the wolf, who is actually a man, and they go from there. They kind of have to get used to each other and they end up forming this relationship. Then you have the older daughter, who has to deal with the fact that her sister is gone and she's just so angry about all of these circumstances. So you're following both of their perspectives. The world building in this is so beautifully done. The dark wood, I have never read a book that just described a wood so well that I like felt like I was there the entire time. I can't even describe how like, it was just so, so well done. Can't even explain. So I loved this book. I think I read this book in like two days. I cannot wait for the sequel. I'm so excited. But definitely if you're a fan of Uprooted and you like that dark forest vibe, I would definitely check this one out. Next up is one of my favorite series. I talk about it at nauseum on this channel, and that is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass, the Queen. So I feel like if you are watching this video and you're subscribed to my channel, you already know what this book is about. But if you don't, it follows Farah, who is a human girl living in the territory that is surrounded by fey lands. And one day she accidentally kills a fairy, mistaking it as a wolf. And in payment for that, she has to go live amongst the fae. And it goes from there. It's amazing. I love this series so, so much. And similar to this book, this next series also involves fae. However, there are a lot of differences. So this next series I talked about in my summer book haul, and I'm now obsessed with it, like really bad. And that is The Zodiac Academy by Carolyn Peckman and Susan Valenti. Now there's a lot of differences between this and A Court of Thorns and Roses. This follows two girls who end up finding out in the beginning of the series that they're actually Fae royalty and end up going to this Fae Academy. However, there are five elites that are already kind of, five elites who are like male Fae who are already ruling this academy and they don't want to deal with these two royal girls outranking them. So they pretty much make these girls' lives hell and just bully them. I think it's uh, called like a bullying romance. And it goes from there and the girls slowly learn more about their powers. There are so many like slow burn relationships in this. It is so good. I think I started this one last week. I am now four books into the series and they are very big books. So this is very much Akatar meets Harry Potter. There's a lot of difference between Akatar. However, if you like Fae, if you like magic, if you like all of those elements and you want to continue with that and you want a series that you won't be able to put down, I feel like this is it. So I would definitely check this out. I will say the writing in this sometimes is a little cringy. That's the only negative I can come up with. There are, and it's more in this first book than the rest so far. But anyway, definitely check this out. 
I know TikTok talks about it, but I don't hear it a lot on BookTube. Next up is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahern. I just did a full recap of this series in preparation for Gods and Monsters, which is probably released by the time this video is coming up, but I will leave it linked down in the description and in the cards. But this story follows Lou and Reed. So Lou is a witch, Reed is a witch hunter, and through some comical circumstances, they end up having to get married and just dealing with each other. And the story goes from there. Something I loved about Serpent and Dove was the French influence. It has a French setting and it's described very beautifully. And it reminded me a lot of Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy. So this story follows Elise, who is training to become a farrier. And in order to become a farrier, she has to kill her one true love at, I think it's at midnight. Now, Bastion's father was killed by one of these farrier women, so he's grown up just wanting to get retribution and kill all the farriers. And through some circumstances, these two meet. And this also has a French setting that is also described beautifully. They're both young adult novels. They're both enemies to lovers. And I think that if you enjoy Serpent and Dove, you'll definitely enjoy Bone Crier's Moon. Next up are two adult fantasy books. So the first one is Foundryside by Robert Jackson Bennett. And this follows Sansia, who's a thief living in this world that has a magic system where you can inscribe objects with magic and it kind of gives them a sentence. So you can scribe a wheel to roll uphill and it'll just do that. So they don't have to follow the laws of physics. It's really whatever you scribe on items. And some of these items even almost have like a consciousness. Now, Sansia ends up stealing an artifact and it really goes from there. I don't even know what I can say without giving away spoilers, but this was very fun. There's a lot of very fun characters in it and I very much enjoyed it. Now, if you read Bounty Side and you liked it, I think you would really enjoy The Bone Shard's Daughter by Andrea Stewart. Actually, I have that. The Bone Shard's Daughter by Andrea Stewart. So this is a multi-perspective story and similar to Foundry Side, and the entire time I was reading The Bone Shard's Daughter, I was thinking about Foundry Side, you have Bone Shard magic. So instead of inscribing objects with these rules, you're inscribing bones. And you can even make creatures with these bones that follow certain rules. And it's all about how you inscribe these objects. And it's very fascinating. This book is so much fun. I loved all of the characters. I think I did a video where I talked about how anytime there is a POV, multiple POV story, there's always one character that I hate following. And that didn't happen with this book. I really loved all of the characters and it has an adorable little animal called Mephizalu who is an absolute doll baby and I'm obsessed with. And I think the next book, this is gonna be a series, the next book is coming out really soon. So I can't wait to check that out. But if you liked the magic in the Foundry side, I think you will very much enjoy The Bone Shard's Daughter. And the last two books on this list are actually both not very popular. However, I think they both should be. They're both very good books. The one that is probably a little bit more popular is Girl, Serpent, Thorn by Melissa, Melissa Vasherdust. And this follows Soraya, who is a princess that was cursed that her touch is poisonous. And on the day of her twin brother's wedding, she decides enough is enough and she is gonna team up with a demon who might know how to break the curse as well as a guard who knows more than he probably should. And it goes from there. I loved this book. I thought it read very much like a fairy tale and it has a Persian influence and the author did an amazing job. I really recommend this. I enjoyed this a lot. But a book that is very similar, which I actually didn't realize until I was doing this video, is Disenchanted by Brianna, Solgals no, Brianna Solgalski. And this follows Lilac, who is also a princess and is also cursed. And she is able to hear darklings, which are these mythical creatures, and she is the only person who's able to hear them, which makes her kind of a pariah in society, and she wants to break this curse, and in order to break this curse, she has to travel through the dark wood, and on her way, she meets a gentleman who is also a vampire, and it really goes from there. So it's a similar tale of two princesses trying to break these terrible curses. I enjoyed both these books so much. I could not recommend either of them more. My only downside, which I've mentioned with this book a few times, is there are a lot of grammar issues uh, in this. I think it is indie published. However, I love this story. I wish this got more hype because it's very enjoyable. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching these comparisons. Please let me know down in the comments below if there are any other books that have similar vibes to the books I just talked about. As always, I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday, and if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I will see you all next week.